In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six diamond shapes infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first diamond shape comes, I've added the icon and the option number. And at the top, I've added the title and the detailed text along with some shadow effect. Then comes with a different color combination, the option two, then the option three, option four, five, and the option six. Likewise, I have created a few more slides with some different background images. So the second one, you can see here, I have added these images here uh, onto this, uh, the diamond shapes. And another one, I have just used some plain color combination here. So depending on your requirement, you can just choose the slide. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any gradient field background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the diamond shape just click it here and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size by going to the format and i'm going to make it maybe 2.05 you can see here and then shape outline i can make it no outline for the time being and later on i'm going to add the outlines and then i'm going to put it here like this all right then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and using the alt and the right and or the left arrow key you can just rotate the shape or with the help of this also you can rotate it so i'm going to rotate it with the help of this alt and the right arrow key and i'm going to place it here and depending on your requirement how much distance you need you can just increase it again i'm going to press alt and the the left arrow key you can see here like this i'm just going to place it here one this is the first one then let me just arrange it properly zoom in and then put it properly here it doesn't matter if it is gone here and there not a problem and then press ctrl d to duplicate and now i'm going to rotate it all the right arrow key you can see here like this and i'm going to place it here so make sure that the distance is same between this you can see here and then again press ctrl d and then i'm going to rotate it like this straight and i'm going to put it here okay and then again press ctrl d to duplicate and alt and the left arrow key you can see here like this and then the last will be here where i'm just going to make it like this and then i'm going to put it here one more and i'm going to place it like this so you can see here my basic design is done then i'm going to select all the objects or i can press ctrl a to select all the objects go to format shape outline i'm going to give white color then right mouse click go to format object underline you can go to the solid line and then increase the width here so how much width you need you can just increase the width depending on your requirement and once this is done you can go to the shadow effect and you can give some shadow effect also like this so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some different color here and apart from that one if you like to add one more shade here for that I'm going to duplicate this slide by pressing Ctrl D. You can see I have duplicated this one. Go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the oval shape, draw the oval shape here like this, shape outline, no outline. And I'm going to make it somewhat transparent and give some different color so that we exactly we know where we are going to uh, put this one, position this one, align center and align middle. And then let me just hold the control shift key together and little bit increase the size or right, i think this size is okay all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all go to format and merge shapes and just say fragment so we end up getting a shape like this you can see here like this shape 
all right so i'm just going to copy this only one two three four five six uh, you see these merge shapes are available only in the latest version of PowerPoint if you're using the old PowerPoint version it's not there if you don't have this one you can simply ignore these steps so let me just copy control C bring it here and control V paste sorry I have not copied it properly I believe let me just copy once again control C come to this one control V paste all right and then give this as a black color and increase the transparency effect here all right so now you have got this design now it's uh, you got uh, different ways to fill this color first simply you can select here come to the fill and you can choose any color of your choice like this all right or you can just go here go to the picture or texture fill go to insert either you can insert the image in add the image from the file or from the online pictures also so i'm going to select the online pictures and i'm going to say some blue background for example again these features are available only in the latest version of powerpoint i'm going to select say this one and click insert so you can see here that image has been added here like this you can add different uh, backgrounds also you can go to insert background and i'm going to say a landscape and i'm going to choose maybe this landscape click insert so the image will be added here and make sure that this rotate width shape should be untick all right so like this you can add any color of your choice maybe i'm going to give some different color combinations here like this all right so once this is done you can add some icons to it click on the icons and i'm going to randomly select four or five or six different icons and then you can just position it before that i'm going to move this away I'm going to make the height and width as 0.4 only and then i'm going to give the color as white then i'm going to place one by one here like this you can see here so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease like this and if you want to add some uh, option numbers you can add the option number here now to add the animation and the text uh, for that i'm going to first group this one like this make sure that you group this object only should not group some other one press ctrl g to group it again i'm going to select this one ctrl g make sure that it is properly grouped then i'm going to group the third one ctrl g okay again control G to group it here I'm going to select all this control G and then the last one sometimes if it is not getting selected you have to just hold the shift key and select that one so press control G so now I have selected and grouped it go to insert text box you can add detail text here and if you want you can add the title also here so i'm just going to add the detailed text press ctrl d one by one and then duplicate just attach it like this the way you want you can see here you can add more detailed text with the title also i'm not going to do that but you can do it so once this is done it's time to do the animation part so i'm going to select this one go to the animations close the format background enable the animation pane add animation more basic effects and basic zoom i'm selecting or you can just choose any uh, animation uh, of your choice and then i'm going to select this one add animation more entrance effects stretch and i'm going to stretch that one and this should happen after previous so now i'm going to select using the animation painter the second one comes then this one the text i'm going to copy here with the help of the animation painter like this you can see here one by one we need to do so quickly let me just finish this off so now i'm going to select the fourth one the fifth here and the sixth option I think I have not copied the animation for this. 
so let me just delete this animation again copy it here then again I'm going to do that then the last one so if I play it comes like this you can see here second third fourth fifth and sixth 